I enjoy doing videos of cycle rides, but I've always had a problem with how to mount the camera to use on the move with every bump and crevice in the road making the video judder and jar. You can see what I mean here. But apart from that, what no proper camera will tolerate is long-term constant vibration and it'll shake lenses apart too, so you need to be careful. There are plenty of ways of videoing bike rides. I've dismissed the idea of helmet mounted cameras. First, I don't wear a helmet. Second, the high up viewpoint looks unnatural and shows no part of the bicycle, so that you lose the sense of speed and movement. Thirdly, as you look around you, over your shoulder for traffic for example, the camera pans around wildly and induces nausea in the viewer. Helmet cameras are strictly for accident insurance purposes. In my opinion, they don't work for entertainment. Next, clamps. There are plenty of clamps for mounting the camera on handlebars or frame, but the camera just jumps and thars and bangs around too much, as I said before. So I finally realised that I'd have to mount the camera on my body somehow. I tried small tripods in pockets, strapping the camera around me, all sorts of things. Like this, the body absorbs the shocks and stabilises the camera, so solved one problem. But I could find no secure way of mounting the camera so that it didn't move around and out of my chosen filming angle. Apart that it's from professional systems costing hundreds to thousands of pounds. There was only one thing for it. I was going to have to make a body bracket that I could set in position and then mount the camera on that. The question was how to make it for not a lot of money. Here's how I did it. Firstly, go to your local DIY store and look at the wall mounting brackets for garages that they sell for bikes, mowers, tools and so on. This one here cost me just over four pounds and this bit cost me a couple of pounds. So far, so good. The next bits are more expensive, but being a photographer I had them anyway. Both can be substituted with a cheap handlebar camera clamp which will do the job just as well. They cost about £10 on Amazon. So the total cost of this outfit, apart from the camera, is less than £16, 20 euros or 25 US dollars. This is a Manfrotto super clamp. I found it useful for all sorts of photography and it's perfect for this. They cost about £25, but as I say there are cheaper options. I use it with a ball and socket head, but again, that's a nicety, I happen to have one. But you can fit the camera straight to the clamp via the tripod socket on the clamp if you wish. So, just screw the two brackets together and here it is in action. It's comfortable enough to wear, I find, but you could always add a bit of padding if you needed to. Here's how it looks and fits. Modelled by David, the Bico Bracket is the perfect solution to all your bicycle bracket needs. Give us a twirl then. Brackets can be bought direct from ThorpoBracketsRUs.com for £375 including taxes and postage, or you can make one yourself. So, here are a few bits of video I've shot with it. As you can see, a lot of the jarring has gone now, and the camera's fairly stably positioned. The body acts as a very good shock absorber, I mean it has to, to, uh, to protect your brain really. So you still get some shaking, but I think it just serves to give an impression of movement. And with the camera in front of you, and if you've got a swivelling screen on your camera, you can position it nicely to get, the, to get the handlebars in the shot that gives you, the handlebars being still, they give you the sense of speed that you're looking for. So, I hope, watch these and I hope you enjoy them. And thanks for watching.